This happens all the time. Where there's a LinkedIn page or company page or school page out there that does not have a super admin. Now, one way this happens is a decade or so ago, LinkedIn would actually create a company page if a LinkedIn member said, filled out their profile in their experience section, they said they worked for Burris Consulting, comma, Inc., and they filled out their profile, and then all the other employees of that company would update their LinkedIn profile and say they worked for Burris Consulting, Inc., but yet there is no super admin. The second way this happens is there is a super admin. He, he or she created the company page or the school page, but then for whatever reason, their LinkedIn profile disappears. LinkedIn removes them, permanently restricts them, or whatever. Now, I'm not here to help figure out how to get past a permanent restriction. That's a conversation for another day. What I'm here to share is how do you get a super admin back on your page? I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But before I do two things, number one, don't start hijacking LinkedIn pages because I'm teaching you how to become a super admin. Follow the LinkedIn terms of service. Be very deliberate about that. Anything different is rude and disrespectful and you need to go away. The second thing is, if, if what I share with you is helpful, please consider becoming a member of my Quora space or a member of my YouTube channel to help me to be able to do what I love to do, which is to help you use LinkedIn as a business tool. Now, how do we become a super admin to this page? Let me show you what you need to do. Go to your LinkedIn profile and add a new position. If you're not already listed as an employee of that company page, then you need to be listed on your profile as an employee of that company page so that the system sees that you are, re oh, that's not the right one. It's right here, thinking new, here it is. And I need to start working here in 2023. Fill this out to whatever extent's appropriate. Hit save. I'm, I'm gonna skip this and I'm gonna ignore that. Now I'm listed as an employee of Thinking New Approach, the company page. Now let's go back to the page. I'm gonna hit refresh so the page sees that I'm now an employee. And here's the answer. Go to more, request admin access. Now, before you do this, uh, I'm gonna reiterate, don't do this just because you wanna hijack company pages. That would be rude and you need to go away and we don't want any part of that. We wanna do this right. It very clearly says here, I need to verify that I'm an authorized representative of this page and I agree to the additional terms for pages. The second thing is, it would probably make sense, not probably, it would make sense if this company page has an email address. If there's a website associated with this, and that website's associated with the email address, then I would recommend that you put your company email address on your LinkedIn profile. Maybe make it the primary email address, but at the very least, have the company email address on your LinkedIn profile. That helps LinkedIn validate you are who you say you are, an employee of the company. Then you can hit request access. Now, I'm not gonna hit request access. And the reason I'm not gonna hit it is A, I know there's someone waiting to do this themselves or waiting for this video. And B, I'm not an authorized representative of the page. So I'm not gonna do that. I believe there is a splash screen that will pop up that will tell you what are the next steps. Maybe there's something else that you need to do. I'm not 100% sure, but I know this is the process you need to request admin access for this page. Again, if this is helpful, please consider becoming a member of my core space or a member of my YouTube membership. I'm Teddy. I'm a LinkedIn and sales navigator strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.